Hey, want to see my Mighty Pirate scrapbook? It's filled with my adventures. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a Mighty Pirate. That's me, Guybrush Threepwood. In the old days, you became a pirate by completing three trials to prove your worth. Treasure hunting is important for any pirate. The pirate leaders were in charge of the three trials, acting as judge, jury, executioner, and devoted grog tasters. The test of thievery involved breaking into the governor's mansion. The security was heavy. Mastering sword fighting was more a matter of wits than agility. This is when I met Elaine, the love of my life. She was governor at the time. Things took an unexpected turn while I was working on the three trials. Elaine was kidnapped and taken to Monkey Island by the nefarious ghost pirate LeChuck. I scraped together a crew. Carla, Otis, and Meat Hook joined me on my voyage to Monkey Island to save Elaine. LeChuck thought he was in love with Elaine. My first ship was the Sea Monkey. I bought it at Stan's used ships with a letter of credit that I, um, sort of falsified. Monkey Island was a steaming volcanic mystery, covered with jungle and not found on any map. You had to brew a special potion just to find Monkey Island. I made some substitutions, but it got us there just the same. There were some people living there who claimed to be cannibals, but I think it was just a show for the tourists. On the island was a gigantic monkey head statue with hidden catacombs underneath. The monkey head opened with a special key that you stuck in its ear. I met an old castaway there, Herman Toothrot. He and the locals wrote a lot of indignant letters to each other. LeChuck's ghostly ship was anchored in a lake of lava hidden beneath the island's surface. We wound up back on Melee Island for the stunning conclusion to my first big adventure. I made it to the church just in time to stop the wedding. Or so I thought. It turned out Elaine already had everything under control. How does she do that? I defeated LeChuck and he basically exploded. It was the beginning of something magical. Uh, these are from the time I went to find the treasure of Big Whoop. I met my good friend Wally, who makes maps, and I stole his monocle. Good times. The map to the treasure had been torn into four pieces, which, let's face it, is about as piratey as it gets. Elaine always seems to know when I need her. The mysterious voodoo lady at the International House of Mojo taught me to make a voodoo doll which came in handy more than once. Again, it came down to just me and LeChuck at the end. He was using magic, but then, so was I. One time, Elaine got turned into a statue. Well, LeChuck was behind it, of course. That guy never gives up. The fact that he turned her into a statue tells me LeChuck doesn't really love Elaine. He thinks of her as furniture. I got eaten by a snake. I erupted a volcano on purpose. There's not a lot I wouldn't do for Elaine. I got buried alive. It was around this time that I met Murray, the allegedly all-powerful demonic skull, after a rousing sea battle. Things backfired on LeChuck because Elaine and I got married when it was all over. Game, set, matchmaker. This was a great day. Though in retrospect, we shouldn't have had the scum bar handle the catering. This is the daisy we stomped on together. The wedding traditions are weird. Mm, that's either Elaine's wedding veil or my handkerchief. We got them to match. Elaine and me together forever. The daggers are symbolic of cutting through troubles, I think. I wrote a great haiku for the wedding invitation. 
don't know why you have to have candy-coated almonds at a wedding, but apparently you do. Oh man, this was that crazy time LeChuck teamed up with an Australian billionaire and tried to use a mystical talisman to make Elaine his bride. Everything started because they thought Elaine was dead, so they held an election to replace her. The ultimate insult wasn't really ultimate, or even an insult at all. Or was it? LeChuck and I battled it out on a grand scale that time. I made a goofy monster out of prosthetic body parts. It didn't help with anything, but I had fun doing it. Then there was the time I accidentally let loose LeChuck's pox over the entire Caribbean. Or so it seemed. Morgan LeFlay betrayed me, even after we bonded inside a giant manatee. I should have trusted her less. I had to wear a hook for a while. It came in handy. Elaine wasn't fooled by LeChuck's human form any more than I was. I should have trusted her more. The death card doesn't usually represent literal physical death. Except when it does. I went on trial for my life on four separate charges. I defended myself, of course. Love did win out in the end. Oh, here's that voodoo doll from the end of my Big Whoop adventure. I defeated LeChuck with this. His leg came off as easy as tearing a loaf of bread. back on. Hey, you kids. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. <laughs> I found him. <laughs> <laughs> Um, come on, let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. It's so lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Sorry, boys, could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on. I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way. You have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow. What should we do next? We gotta get to scurvy dogs. I, I can't believe you never had one. Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> I don't see very well, but I can hear just fine. You kids better have money. Uh, yeah, we've got all kinds of money. Can we get a mug of grog, please? Grog's for grown-ups. Beat it! Now what? Can we get some chicken foot fries? You got two pieces of eight? That's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Have you got any? No. Then no fries! Now what? Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure, if you give me a piece of eight. Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? 
Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. I guess never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. I once got a scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. It unlocks the outhouse outside. The words don't look like words, but there's a picture of a scurvy dog. Some places you go have scurvy. It's locked. Good thing I've got the key in my pocket. Good, you unlocked it. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way, you do it. Okay. Gross. I am not doing that again. I once had the hiccups for four days straight. Gross. Gross. Please wash hands before leaving outhouse. I don't see any coins and I'm not putting my hands in that. Touching that gunk? It seems more like something Chucky would do. Hey, Chucky! It says you're supposed to wash your hands. I never wash my hands. I dare you to take a drink of this. No way, I'm not doing that. I double dare you to take a drink of this. Don't want to get sick before I get my scurvy dog. I double dog dare you to take a drink of this. I'll do it for a million pieces of eight. You will? No. I triple dibble dare you to drink this. I'll do it if you do it first. What's that over there? Where? <sighs> okay, I took a drink. You did not. Did so. Did not. Did so. Do it again then. Okay, you don't have to drink, but I dare you to wash your hands. Fine. Turn. Ew! You actually did it! Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm by sticking it in your armpit? Your turn! No way! It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. I thought it was a piece of eight at first. It looks just like a piece of eight. A fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. Hey, uh, Chucky, stand over here for a minute. Nah, I want to get scurvy dogs. Exhibit removed. Ah. Let's not go back there again. We'll just get yelled at. Yeah, let's get scurvy dogs instead. I'm hungry. Smells like grog. Ah. Sounds real. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Pirate. Um, hello? Boo! Ha, ah, he 
he's dead to the world. Hey, Chucky, get ready to run. I guess they don't like visitors. Let's go next door and get scurvy dogs. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure, if you give me a piece of eight. What can we get with this? Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! Take them, boy. What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. This is the perfect food. What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? Chucky, stand over here for a minute. No way. In France, they call a scurvy dog a chien score butt. That's my friend D. Hey D. Hey Chucky, what are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. There. Perfect. See you around the park, sit heads. Hey, Chucky. Want to race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two. One, go! I win! <laughs> hey, hands off! Excuse me? Yes? Could we have some of your bread to feed the duck? I don't think so. We brought it for ourselves. Excuse me? Yes? Will you pretend to be our parents again? What do you mean, again? Run along and find your real parents. I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days you have no regard for personal property. And gotta run! How rude. That's a nice tree. I'm only pretending to look at the tree. I'm actually spying on that couple by the pond. Don't feed the duck. Give it some of your bread. I stole it from that couple. <laughs> What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. You're not going to touch the ground with your scurvy dog. No, of course not. Gross. You should put that on your scurvy dog. Nah. It smells bad. Ketchup. Whoops. I can stand on my head without using my hands. It looks full. Do you want a sword fight with me? You don't look very challenging. 
Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. No way. You'll never catch up to my level. I win. I win. Uh-uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. Do you want a sword fight with me? I've seen you fight. Come back in a few years, maybe. I want to see two scurvy dogs at the same time. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat, shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then people noticed what happened when the current bow sheet, but the older design went. You can still find the old kind on a modern anchor. If you look close, that's to prevent what's called plummeting. The little flanges at the tips are at different angles. Most anchors these days are made of iron. About 30 years ago, somebody thought of a way to get around that, but all kinds of people invested a lot of money. But the only way they could keep them from floating was to attach another anchor. The word anchor comes from the Sanskrit word nagara. They're called that because when you stop in the middle of the... Yeah, I'm kind of an expert on anchors. I read a lot. <sighs> to race? I'd rather be in charge of a race than be in it. Do not pick the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> Okay, good luck with that. I found one! Awesome! There was still one left? Darn! Do you like to hunt for four-leaf clovers? Yeah, I leave them where they are and take the extra leaves off. I want things to be even. I should find a coin to throw in. I never thought I'd ever find one. Maybe I should throw this down the wishing well. Chucky had a mustache. Ah! Whoa! <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I wish D would disappear. What? Hey, neat. Ouch! <laughs> I wish for a cool plant. A plant? What a waste of a wish. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> I take it back. That was the best. for another scurvy dog. Those things are bad for you. Huh? Told you so. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I wish we could speak backwards. Or what is yes, you know. Yes, what? Helps it, yes, you got. That was fun. Aw, oh, man, it wore off. Too bad. You made more sense than usual. What you looking at? Those kids jumping rope down there. <sighs> They're doing it wrong. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah. We got scurvy dogs. Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Oh, boy. That takes me back. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun. But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding The Secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. <laughs> 